Uh, good morning to you. It's, uh, it's beautiful Friday morning here on City TV and uh, welcome to this coverage. We're taking you to the motorway. Today was the day that we were promised that the motorway, uh, the, the bridge that was being fixed on the motorway will be, will be done and it will be open to the motoring public. My colleague Freddie Ho has been there this morning um, at the motorway and we're going to cross over to him and find out what's going on there on the motorway now. Fred, good morning. Good morning, Kweku. Yes, so talk to us about um, your trip to the bridge uh, this morning and uh, what's happening on the motorway. Kweku, we got here at exactly um, 5.55 a.m. on the dot mm. and we came to meet the sector minister, uh, Honorable uh, Kwesi Amwakwata, who is the roads and highways minister. Mm. And he was here actually waiting patiently to open the bridge or open traffic uh, to motorists on this particular bridge that had some form of defect uh, for the past uh, years but uh, has since been constructed uh, over the last two weeks. Mm. So we met him and in actual fact uh, at exactly 6, 6 a.m. on the dot, this particular bridge that has closed for about two weeks was officially opened to the motoring public and as we speak you can see vehicles that are Accra bound moving right on this bridge mm. heading towards Accra and traffic situation I can say is a bit fluid it's moving uh, quite faster than uh, it used to be when the bridge was closed for repair works mm. and the minister actually uh, was addressing the media where he mentioned that the bridge has been subjected to integrity test for that matter it is qualified and it has passed the integrity test for drivers to use without fear i think we should take a listen to what he said uh, to us earlier oh, ah. as for pato patching uh, you have to be careful eh? as for pato patching you know it forms part of uh, our routine maintenance program so it has been ongoing all, all the time. So you can see that you know, many park, uh, potholes on the motorway you know, have been patched. And it continues, you know, despite the, the uh, problem, the emergency problem that we, we had here. As, as, as for pothole patching, it's a routine maintenance program. But why do you, you normally use bitumen for the patching instead? Of well, uh, uh, from the engineering point of view, you know, if there is a pothole, you know, it's, it's not wrong, you know, for the right uh, bitumen, you know, and it's an asphaltic bitumen to be used, you know. From engineering point of view, the the the, the thing is is also appropriate. Since it doesn't last. It's, it's able to bond well mm. with the uh, concrete. But it doesn't last. Well, I, I mean the portholes that have been patched on the motorway are, are as good as uh, uh, anything, and it lasts. And I mean, so I don't know. What, what you are saying that it doesn't that because the fact that you see another pothole somewhere doesn't mean that those parts uh, are not lasting. But you, but you know the the uh, shelf life, if I should put it that way, for the motorway, you know, uh, was supposed to be 50 years, and the motorway was constructed in the mid 60s. It had gone beyond even 60 years. Okay, so it has. No, gone past his uh, uh, design life, so it's giving way at so many places. That is why the motorway is going to be uh, reconstructed very, very soon. Honourable, okay. looking at the congestion we experience across the city during the repair works here, are there any lessons we've learned going forward in, in the event we start the reconstruction of the stretch? Oh yes, yes. Uh, you know, even during the, the emergency repair works, you know, 
public announcements were made to sensitize the public and uh, diversions and alternative routes were used. You know, when it even became critical, you know, I gave a directive that the ongoing roadworks, the dualization of the beach road, you know, those paths uh, uh, and the structures that have been completed should be open to the public. You know, and they did exactly that. You know, all uh, that arrangements were meant to to absorb you know, some of the uh, excess traffic from the motorway. So part of the traffic, you know, was diverted on that side. So if we decide to undertake the major reconstruction of the motorway, yes, we are going to have that arrangement. The public will, will be educated and the public will be informed you know, far you know, ahead in, in advance of what alternative rules to be used. So we are working on that. Thank you, Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. So that's my you know, For every vehicle to pass over, that is... ...with us. They even mounted, you know, uh, I don't know how... Uh, how they call it, but operational tent here, you know, for the past four or five days, you know, uh, the MTT uh, D, uh, of the Ghana Police Service, you know, we, and we saw uh, Chief Superintendent Asante uh, here with us almost every day, you know, every day, and he's been in the rain, and Chief uh, Superintendent Atanga from uh, airport police station and the regional command also sent a team here you know and of course all this uh, uh, were being done you know uh, under the directive of the uh, dynamic rgp that we have you know uh, dr dampari so on behalf of the president of the republic and the government i want to thank the Police most sincerely, you know, for the uh, service rendered to their country and road safety, the National Road S Safety Authority. You know, you know, they are our our partners, and we work together. You know, uh, have also been here you know, throughout the uh, trying period. So I am very excited with my team uh, of engineers and all those who work with Ministry of Roads and Highways, you know, we are proud that it has uh, been able to deliver, the, the, the ministry has been able to deliver, you know, what we promised. And, and uh, exactly, exactly six o'clock, the police is being asked to uh, open the, 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 the traffic. Uh, Six o'clock, yes. 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 Otherwise, we wouldn't have opened it to traffic. We will not risk the lives of any Ghanaian. You see the, 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 the heavy truck ahead, okay? It's there and it's positioned there strategically. You know, the, the uh, uh, National Safety Authority, um, Road Safety Authority vehicle. Uh, it will pass over the the, the bridge, uh, okay? And it's a very heavy truck. This is done, it being done strategically to to give assurance to the other vehicles that will be following that everything has been done. It has been tested. It has achieved the necessary strength, and it has been testified by the excellent engineers in my ministry, okay? And they and and and. and they, they have okayed it. That is why we are opening it to the public. Otherwise, we wouldn't have op opened it because we do not want to risk the life of any Ghanaian. Okay? Thank you. So, Thank you. Caleb, that is the minister that just uh, spoke to us. Uh, motorists that are coming from Tema heading towards Accra. So, I can put on record that uh, as we speak, the site has been cleared and all is set for motorists to use this particular bridge. Huge, I mean, it's building up at the uh, Accra-bound side.
uh, waiting patiently for uh, this site to be open for them. Yeah, so thank you. We are still live on the <clears throat> Accra Tamamoto Way where the bridge that was actually having some issues uh, has since been repaired and opened to the motoring public. Traffic is still fluid. People that are heading towards Accra are able to move so smoothly. There is one uh, very interesting thing that I actually feel when I stand on the bridge. Like any other bridge, when vehicles pass on the bridge and you are there, uh, in actual fact, uh, it shakes to some large extent. And that, that has to do with this particular bridge as well. When vehicles pass on it, uh, it's, you feel that vibration. And I am trying to see if I can uh, speak to uh, one of the engineers uh, from the Rules and Highways Ministry. So uh, he, the, 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 he, the earlier information or the earlier explanation he's been giving me is that uh, because this is a new bridge, the old one and the new one, there is some sort of disparity where when vehicles get to the old one, you will feel that sort of shock or vibration. But when uh, they get to the new one, that vibration is off because uh, the new one has been well anchored to be able to withstand the shocks from the very heavy vehicles that used to uh, ply this particular stretch of the Accra Tema motorway. So uh, the engineer from the uh, Roads and Highways Ministry is here to give us some education or some enlightenment on that particular uh, subject as to why the bridge is vibrating at this particular point. Welcome to City TV and what is your full name, sir? May you introduce yourself to us? Uh, I'm coming. Engineer, I'm so just a, a second okay you welcome to city tv and what's your full name um engineer runs for the champ on Boatin from ghana highways authority well i noticed that when the vehicles get here there is some form of vibration on the old side of the bridge but the yeah. new one that vibration is not there why that yeah it's normal with bridges yeah and you can see that when uh you consider the new one there's definitely going to be differences so it's not something that will affect or cause harm to traffic or in a yeah and that's why we created the expansion joint yeah what so that the expansion joint supposed to do yeah because you see when it rains the sun shines on it the vehicles will be passing so you need to create the expansion joint so that it can hold both sides yeah mm -hmm. thank you very much so that is one of the engineers from the roads and highways who actually uh, gave us some further explanation as to why the new bridge seems to absorb much shock uh, than the old side of it. And the old one that was constructed is about 9 by 10 meters uh, in terms of length and width. And essentially, uh, I can put on record again that the road has been open to the motoring public officially. So Fred, um Earlier, the uh, minister was, you were, uh, when you were conferring with the minister, you were talking about the road safety truck uh, doing an initial drive over the bridge to, to show that um, uh, the bridge was okay to be used. Uh, what was that experience like? The experience was basically to lead vehicles that are supposed to use this particular stretch mm. so the you know that heavy duty uh, towing vehicle that is able to tow the heavy load trucks uh, that was the particular road safety vehicle that was used so the vehicle was ahead when uh, all vehicles were parked behind and that particular one made the test by driving on this particular bridge and then all other vehicles were signaled by the MTTD officials or police mm -hmm. personnel mm -hmm. to also uh, follow suit. So mm -hmm. essentially, he drove uh, on the bridge first as the very first vehicle to give assurance to the motoring public or to drivers mm -hmm. that the bridge is actually safe. They can drive on it without any cause for worry. Okay. So um, in your conversation with the, the minister, um, of course, this is 
repair works that have been done. I noticed you were talking to him. I'm asking him about potholes and fixing and all of that. Um, there, there, there was a further conversation about road exp uh, the, the motorway expansion project. Tell us a bit more about the conversation you had with him on that one. Kweku, there is a very ambitious plan to actually expand uh, this particular uh, uh, motorway into a six-lane <laughs> motorway. Mm. And at cer certain sessions, according to the minister, would also be expanded further to ten lanes uh, in terms of uh, access. Mm. So the, the, um, the, the project, as he painted for us, is quite an ambitious one, and he said it will begin this year. Mm. I asked him about the fact that, uh, I mean, they said we should tighten our belt, and the economy is uh, in a, a, a bit of um, difficulty as it stands now. Where are we getting that money from to embark on this project? Mm. His answer briefly was that when we get to the bridge, we would cross it. Uh, so essentially, uh, we are waiting to get to that bridge and as to whether it's going to be the bridge I am standing on <laughs> before we cross it, uh, time will tell. So, mm. essentially, this particular motorway that is about 39 kilometers, uh, he said, would be expanded, would be reconstructed, and traffic would be diverted to use the beach road. That is the, when you get to, let's say, the Tema runabout, yeah. you would now be making do with the, you'll be driving through Tema mm. all the way uh, along the beach into Accra. Uh, that is how come they are opening that particular stretch uh, very soon uh, and it's a dual lane for which vehicles will be able to use it without encountering much difficulty. He mentioned again that uh, it's not only the motorway that falls within this particular plan. It's going to be extended all the way to Fiesta Royal Hotel. Mm. If you know Fiesta Royal, it's somewhere as far as Jowulu. Yeah. And he mentioned again that there are three different kind of overpass that are going to be constructed at various sessions or intersections to cater for traffic at different levels. So essentially, uh, there is one uh, overpass that is going to be at the current uh, Atimota Forest area at okay. Jowulu, okay. where that place is going to be remodified to cater for the traffic. Mm. Then when they come to the Tetequashi runabout, <laughs> they are going to uh, expand that place again mm. and make it a bit uh, more, uh, I don't know, modern. elaborate, like uh, yeah. uh, modern, yeah. yes, that is the word, modern, to cater for uh, all the traffic mm. in that area. So uh, he mentioned that, uh, in fact, this whole project, he didn't put timelines to it, but a colleague asked him when specifically will this particular project start? He mentioned again that very soon. Okay. We are waiting for that time to come. <laughs> yeah, Fred. So, um, I mean, I, 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 I'm grateful for the, 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 the videos and, the, you know, showing us exactly what's happening there on the ground. I wish the engineer um, who you spoke with had given a, a, a more detailed explanation of, uh, first of all, why the bridge is vibrating less than the old side and then the expansion joint because the little physics I did, I understand the, exactly what's going on, but I wish he had given us that, those details. But anyway, thank you very much, uh, Fred, for bringing that to us this morning. Um, any, any final words? Kweku, uh, I would just uh, have to tell the motoring public that now traffic is finally opened to them for them to make do with the Temamoto way uh, rather than probably using the other auxiliary or uh, link roads uh, okay. that uh, connect to our car. So the motorway is open finally. Yeah. Just that we pray that the works done here last and last for the good people of this country. What about, uh, Fred, before you go, what about um, the, situa the traffic situation um, on, on the motorway? Any experience on any of the grid? Is there any gridlock anywhere? Kweku, uh, uh, we would want to even pan for you to see the traffic coming from the Tema side. Mm. Uh, for the cars going towards Tema, yeah. uh, they have no issues at all. Okay. Traffic is smooth. But from the Tema side towards Accra, because of the ongoing ways, I can now see when we came earlier uh, in the morning, mm. uh, it would be very difficult for you to see the, the end 
of the traffic because it goes all the way to okay. the runabout. Okay. But uh, as I speak with you, I can see even the very last vehicle that is joining uh, about some 800 meters away. Okay. So the traffic congestion has drastically reduced. Okay. And uh, I can say that motorists uh, are now able to drive and drive safely mm. to Accra. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Fred. Thank you very much. And um, be safe on the roads out there. Well, that is 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 it for our um, broadcast this morning. Opening up off the motorway. Don't go anywhere. Take a short break. We'll be right back.